something I have come to show you all that I do here is I make these gnomes, as you can see. I got the pattern off the internet and sort of found a way to trace it onto basswood and carve it out, paint it with acrylic paints, as you can see, all the ways I've done it. Put my little slogan on the bottom with the tag and laminate it with super glue and all. But one thing I'd like to show you all is, is that something I like to be able to do and show people how to do is have these in their garden. And there is a way to do it. What I have come to show here is that in order to have a wooden gnome in your garden, you kind of have to cover it with water seal like this. So that's what I did with a couple of gnomes we had in our garden in the yard. And that is what I am doing here. So what I do is I first of all apply the coats by painting them on with a brush like this. And as it comes along a little further, you can kind of add on a little more and keep it going, keep it running. And and once it comes down to this, it all makes a really good finish for the gnome. There might be a time after all this is applied, you might at some point have to add another coat. A coat is good to start out with, but there might come a time when you might have to apply two. So this is what I'm showing you all is how I get it started. And this is how it should look once you're done applying it. There can come a time when you can kind of leave it sitting on a tray on top of some paper towels just to kind of let the water seal work its way in. And once it does, there's another step you can apply later. I'll come back in another video to show you that. But let's take a little break. As since the break in the video, I'm here to let y'all know that this gnome here has sat out all night with its first coat of water seal on it. Probably should have done this sooner, but right now I'm kind of wiping it off, kind of spreading it around, trying to kind of help it sink in a little bit, kind of give it a little better shine and I will tell you that what it does to the gnome is just like it does to your porch. When you kind of put it on a wooden deck, the water seal, it kind of makes it proof from the rain. That's kind of why it's good to do that with a garden gnome because if the gnome is going to sit out in the garden, you do want to protect it from the rain. I do want to tell you all some little stories about it, though. I'd like to mention to you all that there was one that I made a few years ago. My mom purchased it from me and gave it to my sister-in-law as a Christmas present, but she has it in her yard now, and they live north of us up in Maryville, Ohio, right outside of Columbus, and... From what I've heard, she brings hers in during the winter time and probably during bad weather conditions. So hers stays outside and it's still in pretty good shape. She takes good care of it, probably knows what's best for it. Hopefully if any of you all ever get one of these one day or if I ever make any more and you purchase them from me, it'll be a good idea for you to know this so that you can take care of them in your own garden and bring them in when you need to because otherwise they might just 
get to where too much weather or too much rain or too much snow might eventually cause their paint to come off. And I've always heard it said that you kind of, that sometimes you have to repaint them every few years. There were a couple of ones I made to go out in the, in my mom's garden in our backyard. And as I put them out there, I'd like to mention to y'all that, I mean, they kind of sat out there through all kinds of weather conditions. And what I just described was exactly what happened to them. They kind of, the weather elements got to them and kind of made them lose all their paint and their finishes. Hopefully I can get this to stand a little better. I would like to say though that this is a time when I just kind of got back on here temporarily just to tell you all a little bit more of how this works and how this goes. It'll be neat for the future probably to make some more gnomes like this and put some more water seal on them so that they can sit out in the garden. Goodbye for now. Got one last thing to come on here and say just to conclude this little video. As you can see, the second seal of water seal has been on this gnome overnight. So I've decided to come on here and uh, towel it off. I will say it is currently fall in the state of Kentucky and our next season will be the winter and probably not a good time to start putting your gnomes out in the garden because a lot of rain's going to be coming lately and it's going to kind of take off the paint and all. But just to say that as of now, as soon as the season comes to start putting them out, this gnome will be ready to be sold and be put into a garden for whoever wants to purchase it and put it there. So I just wanted to come on here and say that just to conclude this video and soon as it is finished and all put together, it'll be on YouTube.